Championship season continues for the high school sports season. Our Fox 12's Nick Krupke has the title rundown on Soccer Saturday. Chasing cups and rings while pursuing the blue. State final Saturday in Oregon had some tightly contested matchups on the pitches in Hillsboro. The new home of T2 got plenty of run on championship Saturday. Hillsboro Stadium, the site for some new blood in the 6A boys' side of the equation. 14th seeded Franklin and number eight summit. The storm had made it this far a year ago. The lightning had never been. But it struck first in that first half early. Riley Reisner unassisted. Rams at home off the rebound from five yards out in the ninth minute. 1 0. That lead held for quite a while. But Summit, the state runners up a year ago, and they extended the night. Alex Grignon from Rory McKee, the free kick off the five yard volley. It went to overtime. Double OT in the 94th minute. Lightning strikes. Franklin's Andrew Reed. Name of the record book for all the world to read. Heading home that long cross from Jackson Kid Kate Osborne. 2-1 Franklin High carrying the torch for the PIL. And after winning on the road, it's underdogs against Lincoln, Grant, Cleveland from their own league. They strike it rich as the keepers of the cup. A program first for Franklin High. We started this season. We knew that we could get here as a team. We had the best goalkeeper in the state and we just got here as a team, basically. The 6A nightcap was all about history. Third seeded Mountainside in its first state title match against number one Jesuit, the two time defending champs. Crusader senior Callan Harrington opened up the ledger with a record breaker. Heading to the corner, Harrington's 54th goal this season, a state record, the 132nd of her career, passing the legendary USA star Tiffany Milbrett. Of course, out of Hillsboro back in 1990. Just to be like, even like put in the same sentence as her is an honor, so. I can't wait to see where I go from here, and yeah, I'm just excited for him. And Harrington wasn't done. The University of Washington commit knocked home another. Unassisted, not even 20 minutes later, to put it out of reach. She also chopped an assist to Taylor Kruger to give the chef's kiss. 3-0 for the 3 P as the Satyrs celebrate against their new Metro League rivals for title number 13. Not allowing a goal now in 11 consecutive playoff matches. I'm just so shocked. This is my third one playing Jesuit, and I'm just so proud of my teammates and everyone who put it in, who put in the work this season. And I feel like it was really a team win, and I couldn't have done it without them. Earlier, the 5A girls final, the defending champs from Crescent Valley in Corvallis, top seeded Raiders and number three Wilsonville met in the first round a season ago. This time. Wildcats on revenge tour. This though, scoreless in regulation and both overtimes. 100 minutes of near misses and denials. Wilsonville sophomore Lindsey Antonson had a 46 goal season, good for fourth best all time in the state. None though on this day. Decided on penalty kicks. Level at three, Anna McClave, get her that ball to save. The clincher, Raiders repeat a 4-3 victory in PKs. A goalie's dream. It feels awesome, especially since it's two years in a row. I, since we've already been here before, this just, it just feels so right, and I'm just, I'm really happy right now. So proud of our team. Congrats as well to the 4A girls champs from Woodburn. That's a program first. Meantime, the Bulldog boys chased down a fourth in a row. The LaSalle boys captured the 5A crown, the Falcons first in a decade after a runner-up finish. The Catlin Gable girls and boys won the small school big blue plaques to go side by side in that trophy case.